Kamala Harris is going to be able to represent a different vision and face for America. I hope that she's able to speak to young people and the valid critiques that we have around her record around the criminal legal system in Palestine. People are like, what are Black people going to do? What are Black men going to do? What are the 53% of white women going to do? Let's see what intersectionality really looks like. Mm. How committed folks are to the first woman president if she's not a white woman. We want to talk about your book, Rooted, The American Legacy of Land Theft in the Modern Movement. My family has owned land in North Carolina since just about a decade after the Emancipation Proclamation. My grandfather, on his deathbed, the last words he said were, don't sell the land. Having a conversation like this in an election year is so full circle. All of this is tied to our political and economic power. My family owned 600 acres of land in the early 1900s. We now have about 100 acres. Billions of dollars worth of property has been taken. Less than 1% of farmland now is owned by Black Americans. I don't want us to talk about 40 acres in a as a thing of the past. I want us to really talk about reparations as this undeniable must happen policy that will happen in our lifetime. She was a co-sponsor of the Senate bill. We would want a president, Kamala Harris, to support reparations. Oh, absolutely. Even though her roots are not specifically in chattel slavery in the U.S., she is a a Jamaican-American woman. She went to Howard University. She knows intimately what it means for Black people to be robbed of their inheritances. And she knows what it means to come from an island that also is in their own fight, right?